Here to talk about it, David Webb. He's co-founder of Tea Party 365 in New York City, also co-founder of the Black Republican Forum. He's a talk radio host on Sirius XM. And Benjamin Todd from Kansas City. Benjamin Todd, jealous, is president and CEO of the NAACP. All right, Ben, it was a, obviously a ridiculous ad, but it's one person in one party in one section of the country. Why raise a whole racist thing against the whole movement, Ben? Yeah. Well, you know, the uh, billboard actually wasn't what prompted this. What prompted this were uh, our folks here in, in the Show Me State who, you know, had, knew that the Council of Concerns, uh, sorry, the Council of Conservative Citizens, the uh, direct descendant of the White Citizens Council, a group that says that black people are not uh, prepared, not gen gen genetically equipped to participate in democracy, has been promoting Tea Party membership and bragging about their influence and activity in the Tea Party. That, in the midst of all these horrible signs we've seen, uh, congressmen being spit on, you know, civil rights icons like John Lewis being called the N-word as they enter Congress by Tea Party activists, Barney Frank being called the F-word, if you will, you know, a gay slur as he enters Congress by Tea Party activists, saying enough is enough. You know, we've heard all that, and we haven't heard Dick, Dick, Dick Army or the other Tea Party leaders come out and just say, that's wrong. There's no space for, for bigotry in our ranks. Okay. That's what we want we to do. Have, uh, uh, we have David Webb. He's co-founder of Tea Party 365 in New York. Do you condemn it, David? I absolutely do. And the statement by Mr. Jealous that we haven't condemned these actions when they do pop up is blatantly false. Also, what is false is that there is no empirical evidence of these racial slurs. On April 24th, I signed a letter along with many other leaders to the Congressional Black Caucus. There was a $100,000 award offered as a donation to the United Negro College Fund if there could be any video with all the cell phone cameras and all the cameras and that we would ask that they provide evidence of this so that we could denounce it if it did happen. If it happened 15 times, Mr. Jealous, there is video of it. There should be, and we have asked for it. We have searched through every video available. Many have been provided. So you are, you are attaching two things that are false, that are unproven. And that well, is ben, dishonest. You, I'd say go ben, to how do you respond? Sure, I'd say go to uh, NAACP. Yes, uh, I would say go to NAACP.org and pull up all of the signs from the Tea Party. Look at what? the video. You, you know, you the, the, a, a, and, and I would say, you know, there's a thing called eyewitness testimony. And the reality is that, you know, we heard again and again from people who saw this happen. John Lewis was one of the most credible people in this country. But I, I would also ask Dave, look, th if there aren't violent racists in your ranks, then why are we getting death threats? for asking you to call out and, and to denounce the violent racists in your ranks. Well, first of all, to answer your question, violent death threats go back and forth across both sides. No, they don't. But let's, let's go to empirical evidence, because if we're going to speak, let's speak from an honest and truthful point of view. There are signs out there that show up at the parties. I denounce them. Many leaders denounce them. So it's false for you to say they're not denounced. On top of that, you cannot paint an entire movement which has no single leadership based on the actions of a few when millions have spoken. If you want to juxtaposition this and be honest in your selective condemnation of racism, then you should also condemn the Condoleezza Rice monkey picture, which you never have, the George Bush Hitler picture, which you never have, and you should certainly be condemning King Samir Shabazz, where if you took the black beret and the black paramilitary uniform off and put on a white hood and white sheet, there would be marches still in Philadelphia to this day, and you have not done that, and that, my friend, is dishonest. Ben, Benjamin, do you want it both? What do you want, both ways, Benjamin? How do you respond to what David just said? Yeah, yeah, I want both groups. I would love to see the new Black Panther Party denounce the bigots in their ranks. The reality is that the New Black Panther Party is much smaller, much less influential than the Tea Party. With the increased you know, power, the increased influence of the Tea Party comes the added uh, responsibility to act responsibly. And they need to speak up. And it shouldn't just be the black members who speak up. You know, we should see Dick, Dick Army speak up and speak out. Absolutely. You know, all those other ben, incidents are troubling. Ben, do you think the Tea Party is racist no. as a party? No, I'm not saying the Tea Party's racist. I'm not saying Dick Armory's racist. This isn't about any policy disagreement that we've had before. All we're saying is stop being silent. 
speak out and condemn the racism clearly, say that there's no space in the team. Well, I think gonna, David is doing that, isn't he? No, David's doing that, tonight? but... but but where's but where's Dick Army? You know, I had a black Tea Party member from Texas who is also an NAACP member come up to me after my speech, put his arm around me and say thank you. Said, said, you know, I know there's space for me here. I've been active in the Tea Party. In recent months, I've begun to feel uncomfortable. I'm glad somebody like you is speaking out so I can stay active in the Tea Party and there'll always be a good space for me. I, I love that David's active in it. Right. I want David to stay active in it, but I want folks in Texas and down south to feel just as comfortable as he does up north. All right, let me take a break and ask David Webb if he'll call Dick Army and see if Dick will speak out. We'll be right back.